the range of human hearing is 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Ultrasound waves are just sound waves with a frequency above 20,000 Hz. When ultrasound reaches the boundary between two media with different densities, some are partially reflected back and the rest pass through. This fact is used in industry to detect cracks or flaws in materials such as metal. They calculate the distance travelled by the ultrasound wave using the simple equation you probably all know. S equals VT. Where S is the distance in metres, V is the speed in metres per second, and T is the time in seconds. We can work this out by using an oscilloscope trace. Take this one for example, showing the waves being rebounded from a crack in a piece of aluminium. There are 120 microseconds between the generated pulse and the reflected pulse. 120 microseconds is 120 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Now all we need to do is sub this value along with the speed of sound in aluminium into the equation to find the distance of 0.758 meters. But remember this is double the distance because the time we measured was the time it took for the waves to travel to the crack and back. So the actual distance is half of this. Because ultrasound partially reflects at the boundary between different media, it is extremely useful for the use in prenatal scanning. It partially reflects at all the different types of tissue, which can be interpreted by a computer to put together an image. Very high frequency ultrasound waves have other medical uses too, like breaking up big kidney stones into smaller pieces so that they can be passed out with the urine with minimal pain. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see some more. You can also follow me on Twitter at DoodleSci if you want to.